Hi friends, this is Neil from the Technical Marketing Team. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to provision storage using the new Veritas NetBackup Recovery Vault Storage as a Service. Veritas NetBackup Recovery Vault is a cloud-based data retention service that provides a seamless, fully managed secondary storage option for NetBackup users. First, you'll need to have a storage server, and for this demo, mine has already been created. Let's go to Disk Pools and add our new storage, and click on the Plus Add button. We'll select our storage server that we saw at the beginning of the video, name our new disk pool, and give it a description if you'd like. You can see here we have a pure disk volume, but that's the one that is currently on our storage server. We want to connect to our new Recovery Vault storage. So we'll click on Select Volume and click on Add Volume. Give the volume a name and then click on Cloud Storage Provider. This is where we'll connect to our Recovery Vault storage provider. Next, we'll search for Net Backup to find the Recovery Vault provider. In this demo, we're connecting to Azure, so we'll click on Net Backup Recovery Vault Azure. Next, we'll connect to the correct region and put in our credentials provided by the Recovery Vault provisioning team. With our credentials entered, we can now connect to the cloud provider by clicking on Retrieve List. Here, you can see there are already a couple cloud buckets created. When you connect for the first time, no buckets will have been created, and you'll need to create your own. Let's create a new bucket by clicking the plus add button. Give your new bucket a name and click on add. Great, the new bucket has been created. Let's select it and click on next. Next, if you'd like to set up replication, you can. I'm going to skip this step. Check to make sure everything looks good. And when you're ready, click on finish. All right, our disk pool has been created. Click on Close. OK, we can see the disk pool has been created. So let's create our storage unit so that we can use this new storage for backups. OK, give the storage unit a name and click on Next. Select the new disk pool you just created and click Next. Here, you can have NetBackup choose the media server to use or specify the one you want. I'm going to specify the one that I want. OK, let's review the entries for the new storage unit. And when everything looks good, click on Save. And here we can see our storage unit has been successfully created. You can now use your new Recovery Vault storage for backups. With Recovery Vault, protecting critical data in the cloud has never been easier. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to connect to and get your Recovery Vault storage ready for backups.